Hi, thanks for tuning in this short video. Today we're going to cover the MECP2000 high pressure pneumatic hand pump comparator. The Martell MECP2000 pneumatic hand pump was capable of generating pressures up to 2000 psi and vacuum down to minus 14 psi at sea level. For very low pressures, the fine adjustment vernier can be used to generate precise pressures. The pump uses a unique dual stage pumping design where the initial part of the stroke fills the air chamber which at mid-stroke forces the air into a smaller chamber to boost the pressure even further. This design allows for high pressure pneumatic pressures to be achieved with minimal effort. Before you begin to use your pump, familiarize yourself with the controls and connections on the pump. Refer to the operating instructions that are sent with each pump or they're available on our website. Because we have stainless steel fittings, we're going to take some extra precautions today on installing a gauge. Make sure the threads are clean. I'm going to unroll six inches of Teflon tape. We're going to wrap them in a clockwise direction around the fitting, ensuring a nice tight wrap. Now that we have an evenly coated gauge, we're going to apply some anti seize lubricant gently around the gauge itself. A thin coating of anti seize over the Teflon tape prevents extrusion of the Teflon tape as the threads mate. This is very important when using stainless on stainless. I'm now going to install the gauge hand tight on the comparator. I'm using a backup wrench, you can use a 3 quarter inch crescent wrench or 19 millimeter and barely tightening the gauge so it has a good seal. Now on the beta gauge itself I'm using our quick test fitting which has a built in o-ring which prevents this whole process. Just hand tighten and you're ready to go. Make sure that the pressure switch is switched down when you're applying pressure. Tighten the bleed valve and release valve. Adjust the variator halfway. The isolation valve should be about a turnout for optimum performance. Gently crank down on the handle to generate the pressure that you desire. In this test we're just going to go up to full scale which is 200 psi. Once again I'm checking for leaks making sure everything's tight. Now it will take some time to settle but as you see here, we will not have any leaks present. Now I'm going to adjust the variator by going out to decrease the pressure. Make sure there's no leaks. Once again, bleed off the pressure to go down let it settle we'll bleed off some more pressure here we use the variator to increase pressure slightly we're going to bleed back down As you see here, we have a steady pressure reading, meaning there's no leaks in the system. Once 
Once again, I'll use the variator to show you how to find and adjust the pressure. You know how easy it is. And we'll bleed off the pressure here. And that completes using the MECP2000. Thanks for watching this short clip.